Hey everyone, welcome back to the VSO Gun Channel. It's great to be here as always. I'm out here watering my plants. I got some uh, plants that support the local bees. But uh, I have an excerpt to share with you guys today from a live stream that I did earlier uh, this afternoon. And uh, I've cut it down to about eight minutes of uh, the actual meat of what I wanted to do on the live stream. It was a really popular live stream. So I thought I would share it with you who are uh, somewhat scared away by time stamps that are over an hour <laughs> but anyway uh, that'll be following next after we hear a quick word from our sponsor today's video is brought to you by excess sites uh, they are my go-to for tritium night sites if you're looking for a, an upgrade for your pistol then they are definitely on the list that you should check out i'm pretty partial to their big dot sites but they have a wide range of profiles out there for those of you who want to be wrong about the sites that you put on your gun <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yes, special thanks to XS for making today's video possible. And we know that this uh, sniper team was in place in advance uh, because if we were to... Is it this one? Nope. You can see them carrying their stuff up there pretty leisurely as far as positioning themselves. So they're, they're using drag bags and they're carrying the tripods, um, which is... Uh, pretty standard fare. Uh, you want to, this is standard equipment. This isn't out of the ordinary. Um, in fact, I own a couple drag bags, kind of similar to those ones right there. Um, now, they probably have much better shooting tripods than I do, but that's beside the point. So we know that they were in position in advance. So this was an end placement. This was done in advance of the whole event starting, right? Um, so uh, this is the final position of them. And that roof looks... Uh, Kind of slanted, right? Now, we have to give some leeway here a little bit for the visuals because this this photo is not taken straight on. Whereas we compare uh, a really good shot of the roof where the assailant was taken out. Uh, this is pretty much what I would call a straight on shot. I think that everybody could say that this is a, a pretty close to straight on shot on the peak angle of the roof that we can get. So when we consider that this shot is at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to be extra conservative and say that this is taken at a 30 degree angle. I think it is considerably less than that, but we'll say that it's a 30 degree angle just for the sake of our maths. Whenever you look at a triangle or any angle real arrangement for that matter at perspective, there is a delineation in the data, particularly when you're using uh, the camera sensors of today that don't actually take a snapshot, they take a, a scan. It either goes from top to bottom, bottom to top, or left to right, or right to left, one of the two, right? Um, that's why you can take a picture of something like a glass, and you get like that kind of like sort of fisheye effect on things where you can get, you can see things you wouldn't normally see if you were looking down as a, an effective camera. That diminishes ever so slightly as we get farther away from the target. But anyway, this roof is at an angle. And if I were to, I just mock this up on my counter really quick in the, uh, in the kitchenette over there. Um, this is a shot of a triangle, a rather crappily made triangle, um, that is straight on. And you can sort of see that fisheye effect. You can see the inside of the thing in, in ways that you shouldn't be able to see the inside of the thing, but that's not part of the, the thing. If, um, if I were to turn this, Keep the angle in your mind. If I were to turn this 30 degrees, that angle ends up looking a little bit steeper than it was before. So we'll go back to the other one. The angle looks perceptively uh, steeper when you, when you compare those two images, right? I think that everybody can agree. Well, that's governed by math. And if we're using 30 degrees... Um, uh, there's some roofing people. I can see. I can now see in the comments that there are some people. Uh, given that's a that's a pitch. I don't know anything about roof pitches. So people are saying that's a six twelve pitch. That's a four twelve pitch. I don't know what any of that means. I'm assuming that's the rise over the run, right? Um, but we're going to use actual math here today and angles. So we know that when we change the perspective of the triangle that the roof appears slightly steeper than it is. And it's about 
10% steeper is what you end up with, depending on your range. But at 30 degrees, it's going to appear 10% steeper. So we're going to give them 10% on our whatever calculations we do. So we're going to do this live. Let's get all these out. And let's start with this, which is the stated emplacement that is not too steep. Now, there's a couple things um, that we have to consider, and that is the person holding this camera may not have taken the picture nice and level, although human degree, humans are pretty good at, at finding level, at least pretty close to level when it comes to taking photographs, but we're going we're gonna to do it for real here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to uh, get into our Photoshop tool here, and we're going to use the siding as plum. So we'll take a nice long section of siding here. Uh, I need to make a new layer. Hang on. New layer. We're going to be working in yellow here. Let me see the whole thing. So we're going to take a piece of siding, and we're going to take the piece of siding, and we're going to go from there, and we're going to draw a straight vertical line down that siding, and that is our vertical. And if we're honest, yeah, it looks like the if we the the roof the the photo looks like it might be twisted a little bit. So I'll, I'll buy that. That's going to be our vertical. We'll then duplicate this layer. And we'll take one of them and we'll stick them right here, right? Just as a reference point. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to twist it. And we're going to line it up with that roof. We'll use this line right here, this darker line, which is the edge line. And let's see, that looks like it's lined up pretty darn close. And maybe, maybe ever so slightly off. We'll give it a, we'll give it just a little bit more. I'm using this bumper and this bumper right here, the one in the center. And that brings us out to, you can see it up here. I know what, know what that resolution looks like, but that's 76 and a half degrees, right? And that's the angle of that roof. That means if we take this, the slope of that, remember 70, 70 uh, a, a straight right angle is 90 degrees. So that means that that angle of that roof is minus 76.5. It means that this is a 13 and a half degree incline down to here. There's our vertical. Let's go ahead and move that into the peak, roughly. Go ahead and duplicate this layer. And we'll get in here tight again. And we'll use, um, this is kind of washed. This top one is pretty washed out up against the sky. And when I'm looking at it, actually, your guys' view looks a lot better than mine. But when I'm zoomed in there real tight, I can barely use that. So what we're going to use is we're going to use this darker line underneath here just to kind of line that thing up and do our, do our measurements here. Again, I want to do this live so that you guys can see that I'm not fudging it any. As well as um, get commentary from people who actually know crap about roofs. That says 85.2. So 85, uh, 90 degrees minus 85.2. 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus 85.2 is 4.8 degrees. The angle is roughly three times steeper on the pre-established position than the roof that was too steep to put people on because it was a safety hazard. I'm sorry. That is complete and utter bullshit. If you want to catch the rest of the broadcast, I'll have it listed in all the relevant places. Thanks for tuning in to the VSO Gun Channel, and hopefully we'll see another one here pretty soon. Patreon, subscribe star, and channel members on screen now.